So this is why more orcas are attacking boats. Hey, professional internet rapper man, Professor Jelly here. You may have noticed that there seems to be some sort of uptick on the amount of orca attacks. What's going on there? <laughs> While there's not one individual thing that's contributing to these attacks, there's a few things stirring around in the soup that may be framing these events better. As you may already know, killer whales are not actually whales, and in fact are part of the extended dolphin family, which you can actually further divide orcas into several types, based on what they eat, their behavior, where they stay, etc, etc, etc. But the two types that we're going to be concerned with today are residents and transients. The resonants are the famous ones. These are the whale watching orcas, the free willy orcas, the ones that Steve-O gets arrested over. They're known for their large social networks, distinct dialects and cultures, staying in certain parts of the world for certain parts of the year, and having a diet of mostly fish. Now the transients are thugs. Transients are known for their smaller communities, traveling around most of the year, having less vocal variety, and eating mostly marine mammals. The two groups mostly try to stay away from each other by living in different places and eating different foods, which is an arrangement that is really, really starting to suck for the residents. Why? So in addition to having a large number of this group enslaved, I mean, um, moved to uh, alternative housing facilities at family entertainment centers, resident workers in the Washington area's diets are like 80% salmon. And the number of salmon in the Washington area has dropped to like 3% of what it was in the 90s. On the other side of things, one of the transient's major sources of food, the sea lion, was protected from hunting back in the 70s, thus giving these orcas a large protected group of food to graze from. Well, can't the resident orcas just start eating sea lions? Yes, if you want to be wrong. See, resident orcas are taught from birth that they eat fish. That's their life. I mean, you can't go from drinking Dr. Pepper to Pib Extra. I'm not an animal. So, um, uh, mathematically, this change in food availability has led to this great upturn in the amount of transient orcas and a downturn in the population of resident orcas. So, I'm not going to make any definite claims about the orcas that were involved in these attacks on the boats because every article that I found did not mention the type of the orca one way or the other. Also, one of the contributing factors to this is trying to find any information about orcas outside of the Washington area is like, I don't know, but they be killing people though. And because most of these attacks were in the Spain and Portugal area, we're kind of in the dark. But it's completely likely that these food disruptions are perhaps causing the local orcas to be more agitated or confused, or perhaps it's bringing in more outside aggressive orcas that are attacking these boats. We don't know. Just throwing stuff to the wall and seeing what sticks here. Another problem that these orcas are facing is pollution. Normal trash pollution, yes, but perhaps more importantly, noise pollution. Sound is actually an orca's main sense. They use it to locate food and communicate with each other. And with so much drilling, transport, and other human activities, the ocean has become deafening for these creatures. It is completely possible that the motors on these boats could have confused or agitated the orcas into attacking the vessels. Some of the more sensational articles have said that this is vengeance for past boating injuries on the orca's part. Which is a theory. It those are words that can pass across your lips. You can also claim that the orcas are about to orchestrate some sort of Sharknado situation to properly claim vengeance for SeaWorld. You can say it. I, I just don't see it. In fact, I think it's much more likely that these orcas are taking a note from their dolphin cousins and they were just trying to play in the wake of the boats. And severe damage to humans and property got in the way. Not their fault. In any situation, hopefully scientists are able to find a definitive answer on why these creatures are attacking the vessels in a way that hopefully protects both the orcas and the motorist. This has been Professor Jelly. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more infotainment in a similar vein, please subscribe. Thank you.